Line of sight completes the lineup. Set, ready, racing in the first of the afternoon and line of sight was just a little bit slow when the starter said go. Starsky on the inside began quickly. Eight Cities is pushing forward on the outside to go and set up handy. On the inside running rail we find Majestic Moon. They being followed by Dark Liability. Then comes Dante's Rock who settles to race about six lengths off that leader. A length and a half behind that in running we find Xanthus who is sitting on the inside running rail and giving the leader about five length start. Outside of that we got Zin Zero being followed further back in running by Shafaf. And that leaves a line of sight racing at the end of the line as they swing onto the back straight with about 900 meters left to go. In front, it's Starsky that sets the pace of eight cities racing in second. And now Zin Zero has decided to push right past them all three deep down the back straight. They being followed by Dark Liability. Between runners there, we've got Majestic Moon. Outside of runners, we've got Xanthus, who's creeping closer. Dante's Rock is sitting on the inside running rail. Then comes Redwood Valley, being followed by Shafaf. And Line of Sight is going to whip them in as they start the angle for home with just on 300 meters left to go with Starsky, the one in front. Racing in second, we've got eight cities. They being followed by Dark Liability and up the outside Xanthus is quickly making a move. It's Starsky. Xanthus Redwood Valley up the outside. It's Xanthus that's now coming at Starsky into the closing stages and Xanthus has swept into the lead close home. Xanthus goes on to win it from Dante's Rock. Redwood Valley and behind that we had Starsky. Oop it. The hand it comes clear and they were racing in the second race and uh, well the British Pound's got a little bit of pace there on the inside so is F. Deke. Right on the outside is Antwerp. Middle path caught a little bit wide at this stage. aspar has got a nice position from that good draw. He's going to sit up there second, well in the box seat. But uh, there's a little bit of a mad scramble for the lead early on. Out in front is Southern Sun. F. Deke's at his girth. On court wide at this stage is Antwerp and he looks like he might just go and give uh, Southern Sun a hard time for that lead. So they're turning to the back stretch. Antwerp wants to lead. He's out clear now. Southern Sun's going to sit up second. Then Aftik. Middle pass caught wide at this stage. So is AP Strike. Then we go back to British Pound. Aspara has always had a nice position, but he's lost a length or two since uh, Antwerp's gone to the front. They're followed by Come On Sunny. Winter is coming at the back of the field. Is Game Loft. They go past about the 500 now, and middle pass decided that the pace is a little bit too slow. He's gone and challenged Antwerp out in front. Southern Sun's always had a nice position. Aftik, AP Strike's been caught wide the whole time. British Pound's waiting patiently for his turn for that inside run. So is uh, Spara. Come on, Sunny. Winter's coming is hopelessly wide, and Gameloft's also starting to pick up a little bit of speed. They turn into the home stretch, and Antwerp's gone for home now. He goes clear by about a half a length. On the outside is Aftik, and now British Pound on the inside of these Antwerp. He's still got the lead, but now Aftig starts to challenge him. Aftig's coming at Antwerp. Aftig and Antwerp on the outside, but Aftig's going to get there. Aftig wins it. A nice short head finish there. Right. They are standing ready to jump, and uh, where they go at the 18.50 for our fourth thread line captain didn't get the greatest of jumps. Got squeezed a little bit, but he's made his way back into the scrummage as, as usual. Euroclodian looks like he wants to go and lead. So Euroclodian goes off to the front. Seven league boots is there on the outside. Edison's also quite handy today. Then Redline Captain, your favorite. He's got quite a nice position there. He's only about two or three lengths off them. Then we go back to Jama. Ema has been caught pretty wide at this stage. And then we go with the orange colors. That's Overdose. The Overdose has got about five or six lengths. I cannot tell you, Netflix is pretty tight on the fence here, but Redline Captain's pulling quite hard as well. Euroclodian's out in front. He goes clear by about a length. Edison's on his outside. Then Olympic Bolts on the fence there. Then on his outside is Seven League Boots. Then Redline Captain. Then we go back to Jamo, who's been caught wide. And Overdose, uh, the second favorite. He's following Seven League Boots. He's only got four or five lengths to make back. A veil is a long way last at this stage as they go into the back stretch. Euroclodian is out in front by about a length and a half. Edison's on his outside. There we go onto the fence that is Netflix. Seven league boots. Ima still quite wide at this stage. So is Jama. Overdose is pulled off. He's also a little bit wide at this stage. Redline captain, your favorite, is going to battle a little bit from there because he's caught in a little bit of a box seat and he likes to stretch his legs as horse. Euroclodian is still out in front. Now Edison puts on the pressure on his outside. Ima also starts to make a move. Jama and Overdose is coming. Well, Overdose is going to pull a little bit wide. Seven league boost is on his inside. Redline captain is battling a little bit at this stage. They're just about to turn to the home stretch and Euroclodian has been set alight by Maxim Guyon. Now 
now Imar challenges him. Overdose on the outside with the blue cap is the, the lively change on the outside. But Imar is now out in front. Euroclodian looks like he's crying up and he's fighting back. Here comes Overdose and Euro Struggle. Imar's coming back. So is Euroclodian. But Overdose is going to win it. Overdose goes and wins it comfortably. Euroclodian runs second. Tight between Avail and Imar for that third position. Pole position steps in, completes the lineup. They're all in line and they racing. From that 1450 metre mark, and bad attitude was a little bit slow when the starter said go. Ice run from an outside gate quickly crosses over to the front and takes them on the turn out of the straight and leads the way by a length and a half. Entree is racing in second and they being followed by Belenos, who's sitting three deep round the turn. Racing next on the inside, we find Steeler March in the light blue colours. Deep we got Mutsi, who's pushing forward on the outside of runners, looking to improve position. Al Shabazz sits further back. Then comes Bad Attitude in the black and yellow colours, who's racing well back at this stage, leaving only Berg back one from last, and in the back seat there, where we find Entree. Taking that far turn with just on 400 metres left to run, it's Ice Run, the one in front, that leads the way. Trap Lord has gone up to race in second. On the move on the outside, we find Mutsi. Three deep, we got Al Shabar, who's making a forward move. Bad attitude. He's also going to have to be angled out as they corner for home with just on 250 meters left to go. Ice run. Trying to steal it in front. Kicks away again. Bad attitude is into the clear. Al Shabar. They being followed on the inside by Steeler March. And up the outside, Burke the Grey is also starting to lift into the closing stages. Ice run. Bad attitude lunges, but too late. Ice run kept going in front. Speed limit playing up a little bit. And a racing speed limit never got the best of jumps on the outside. Horse guards, he's quick. So is Al Mariachi. So Al Mariachi, but the quickest of them all is Victory Team. Victory Team's out in front with those white colours. Now Al Mariachi's are set out after him. Horse guards are settled in today. They're followed by Ernie. On the outside of that is Step to Fame. Speed limits is right there. And then Prince of Thieves. The Thinker is third from the last. Awes is second from last. And at the back of the field is seventh plane. So they're going quick. This is what we thought. Victory team's out in front. Al Mariachi is at his hind quarter. The jockey's trying to settle him in there. Behind that is Step to Fame. Horse Guards is on the fence. He's not allowing Al Mariachi to come in front of him. Then we go back to Ernie, who's traveling quite closer today. Then uh, we go to Aware, who's been caught a little bit wide on the inside of him, is Speed Limit. Print, pulling a little bit is Prince of Thieves. And the two Gadgeta horses are at the back. But now I see seventh place trying to make a little bit of an outside move. The Thinker is lost. They don't, well, they've just gone over the straight now, and uh, the victory team still out in front, but now Al Mariachi comes to join him. Step to fame, travelling very nicely on the outside. Horse guard's always been in that box seat position. He's just waiting for the straight. Step to fame's on his outside. As they've turned into the home stretch, victory team still out in front. Al Mariachi now challenges him. Here comes Aware with that green cap. He goes about two lengths clear. Aware goes clear. Horse guard's is trying to challenge him. Now horse guard's gets going, and horse guard is going to win it. He wins the feature afternoon and he wins it comfortably. On in. All in line, we set to go. Racing. From that 1500 meter mark, bit of an untidy beginning this one. Burr was a little bit slow of the mark. Prince Lateral also not that well away. Royal Resolution, that's the one that got away the Quakers. On the move on the outside, we got Biometric who's going to set up handy. They being followed by Bonjour Baby on the inside running rail. Half back on the outside, we find Captain Moss. A length and a half to Rebel Alliance, who's sitting on the inside of Kimberley. They being followed further back and running by Rebel Alliance, who's racing about eight lengths off that leader. Then comes Desert Thief. Prince Lateral is racing back one from last, and Burwaz is sitting at the end of the line, down the back straight past the 900. It's Royal Resolution, the one in front that leads the way. Kimberley has now gone up to race in second. Bonshaw Babies beautifully placed back on the inside running rail. Captain Moss is on the outside. They being followed by Rebel Alliance who's sitting on the inside running rail. That one's giving the leader about four lengths start. Outside of that one comes Biometric. They being followed by Grade 5 8 who's starting a move as they corner for home with just on 300 metres left to go. On the inside it's Royal Resolution tackled by Kimberly. Bonjour Baby is on the hills up the outside we've got captain moss and in the middle we got rebel alliance into the final 150 down the inside bonjour baby stakes his claim puts his head in front takes the lead and draws clear to win it 
Bonjour Baby wins it from Kimberley. And they're racing in the last race of this season. They all got quite a good jump right on the outside. Jet Pass got a lot of speed on the inside is Golden Bull. Being rushed along on the rail is Risky Rambo. But Tumon Junction, she's got a lot of speed and she wants to go off and lead. But Risky Rambo is not going to make it that easy for him. Behind him is Golden Bull. Jet Path is trying to get in from that awkward draw. Saracen King racing a little bit closer today. Then we go to Napoli, Ashford's Legacy. Caught wide a little bit is Kelly's Champion. That's all orange and the green cap. Then one for one at the back of the field is Mr. Hardy. So Risky Rambo, he's gone off at a good pace. He goes clear by about two or three lengths from Two Moon Junction. Then Jet Path. Saracen King still hasn't settled today, which is unusual. He normally settles quite well. Kelly's Champ's always been caught wide. Then we go back to the fence of Golden Ball, Napoli. Ashford's Legacy's got a lot of ground to make up at this stage. He's about second last. Mr. Hardy's at the back of the field. They go past the road for the first time, and uh, out in front, Risky Rambo. He goes clear by about three lengths now. Two Moon Junction starting to make up ground. So is Jet Path. Golden Ball looks like he's broken down. Golden Ball's come down. Well, he hasn't come right. He's broken down. He's out the race. Risky Rambo as they turn into the home stretch. He goes clear by about a length. Now Manuel Nunez sets up Two Moon Junction on his outside. Saracen and King's also trying to run on. So he's Kelly's camp. All right on the inside. Risky Rambo still trying to come on. But now Two Moon Junction. Saracen King now starts to unleash. Right between them is Jet Path. Jet Path's also coming at them. But Jet Path and Saracen King... Two Moon Junction, she managed to hang on.